You're watching Adorama TV. Welcome to Adorama TV. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, today we're going to take a look at an iPad app called Rays, and it allows you to take an image and add rays of light coming out of the highlights, so you can make it look like there is dust in the air and all these gorgeous beams of light are flying through and add a lot of uh, environmental atmospheric uh, look to your images. So let's take a closer look at this really cool app called Rays. Let's take a closer look at Rays. Now, Rays opens up and immediately asks you to choose a photo, and it puts these awesome rays in the highlights of your image. And so let's look at, take a look at this. Now, it really matters what image you choose. And so if you have something that doesn't have any highlights, this isn't really going to work. So I'm going to take a photo that I shot of a building in downtown Phoenix. And uh, this is a building that um, has some highlights, some windows, and things like that. And so what I want to show you is what it looks like when we try to add some rays. So it looks like light is coming from behind. Now, the first thing we get is this little dot. And I can move it around. And you can see that it makes rays show up like sun is coming through the back here. And so I can go in here. I can make those brighter. So it looks like there's more coming out of these windows. I can take the uh, source uh, opacity down a little bit. And you can see that now I'm getting this image that looks like there's something shooting from behind. And what I can do is I can turn that off by clicking this little flash here. And you see the original image. And now the image with the rays coming out, which is really cool. I can change the color of the rays. So I can make those red or blue or whatever I want. So I can make it look like it's a different time of day. That's sort of groovy. I can turn off these sliders to make sure that I can see that exactly uh, as it's going to look. And I can really go in there and play with things. So let me actually hit this. I can um, bring this in or out. I can do this threshold here so it makes the rays look a little bit more blocky. And I can always move this around. And so I can get some really interesting looks and uh, give some life to an image that's sort of dull. So let me show you a different image. I'm going to go in here to my camera roll. I'm going to get this hallway of this abandoned building. And notice that we can uh, throw this over to the side. And look how those rays look like they're coming through the side. So really neat. So I can make it look like there's some stuff coming into the lens. Again, I can really make it look like here's an alien landing or something. And so we have these rays blasting through. I'll show you one more. I'll go in here. There's another image that I shot. Here's one of this hallway. It's got this uh, little area right here. I can adjust this, put it right back here. And now notice it looks like there is these rays coming through this hole in the wall. Pretty cool. So I'll put that up. It's really neat. And watch when I turn that off. Very dull. Turn it on. And then we have these rays coming through. Now the key to this though is making sure you have something with a strong highlight where it actually looks like uh, that's natural. So if I go in here, I'll pick something that wouldn't really work for this, like this no parking sign. And now it just looks sort of weird. So it doesn't really look like there should be rays coming from this image. Or if I took something like, uh, I'll go in here and grab a portrait. So there are no highlights really. And so I can put these up here. Yeah, it doesn't do such a good job. So really the important thing is to make sure that you choose an image that lends itself to the rays and you'll get a great result. Now when you're done with this, you can always go in here and click this. You can save it to your photo library. And if you get lost and need more information, just click the question mark and it gives you all the details. And that is rays. Well, I think Rays is one of my favorite apps because it's so simple to use and it really adds a lot of punch to images and we can get this real sci-fi kind of look. Um, I really, really like it. Well, there you have it. If you have an app that you like for the iPad and maybe you have questions about it, well, send your suggestion to me at askmark at adorama.com and I might just review your app on an upcoming episode. And if you want to see all the past app reviews that I've done, zip over to the Adorama Learning Center and you'll see them there as well as a bunch of photography tutorials and gear reviews and all kinds of stuff, so don't miss it. Well, thanks for joining me. I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.